Hi guys! In this video we will unbox and assemble the X7 laser engraver from Atom Stack. You want to know all the details? Then stay tuned! Hi guys, welcome back! My name is Rui and this is the Rui Raptor YouTube channel. If you want to help us out, you can by giving this video a like and subscribe to the channel. You can also help by joining our Patreon page or by clicking on any of the affiliate links posted below in the video description. So, today we have the Atom Stack X7 laser engraver. This is one of the nicest models from Atom Stack. It has an engraving area of 410 by 400 millimeters, includes a control terminal with display which allows us to operate the engraver without the need of a computer, and a 5.5 watt ultrafine compression laser which, according to the manufacturer, is capable of cutting thick materials. So, before anything else, let's check what's inside the box. Right at the top we have a big metal plate. This plate is to be used under the material we want to work on, and this way protect our workbench from the laser. Next, we have the user manual. A brush, a USB cable, the control terminal, a bag with tools, some wooden samples and screws, the power supply, this is the HDMI cable to connect the control terminal. Next is the laser module. The back metal profile. Three metal feet. It only has three of these because the fourth is with the electronic box. This is the X axis. And this is the electronic box. And under here is the left and right metal profiles. Next is the front metal profile. And last but not least is the power cord. And this is everything that came inside the package. The electronic box, which has the main board inside, is this one. At the right side is the HDMI connector to connect the control terminal. And at the top are the other connectors and switches such as the emergency button to stop the machine, the power connector, the USB connector, the on and off switch, the reset button, and the memory card slot. This is the power supply. It's a 12 volts and 5 amp model. The control terminal is this one and includes a 3.5 inch touch display. And this is the laser module. At the front is the knob to adjust the height and at the left is a sticker with the laser specs. The laser power is 5.5 watts. At the bottom we can see a small shield plate to protect us from the laser light. The plate is only at the front and can be easily removed if needed. At the top is the electronic board and under it a cooling fan. The assembly is very easy but let's go through it step by step. Start by placing the profiles on a flat surface. The back and the front profiles. For the left one you need to be careful with the small end stop and also with the orientation. The scale should have the zero mark to the front side. And finally, the right profile. For the right profile, the orientation should be like this. Every bag has a label, and that label indicates the step that it is for. This small detail makes the job a little bit easier. So, we take a couple of screws from the first bag and we use them to secure the right profile to the front and back profiles. At the end make sure they are aligned and squared. For the left profile is exactly the same. 
You just need to be careful with the small end stop. Next, get the electronic box and install it at the front left side. The box will also work as a foot for the engraver. Use the small screw for the outer hole and the longer screw for the inner hole. For the right foot, use the two long screws. Before installing the back feet, you need to slide in the X axis. The X axis should go in easily and move smooth. If not, do not force it or you might damage the wheels. In this case, check the eccentric nuts located on the bottom wheels. Use the wrench to turn it to increase the gap between the bottom wheel and the two upper wheels. With the X axis installed, you can now secure the two back feet. Now it's time to check both X and Y axis. They need to move smooth and the wheels need to have the correct grip adjustment. To adjust that, you need to turn the eccentric nuts located on the bottom wheels on all the axes. We made a video especially dedicated to explain how to correctly adjust this, so check the video description for the link. For the third step, we need to install the two belts, one on each side of the Y axis. The belt needs to pass under the first wheel then over the pulley and then again under the other wheel. On each end, the belt is secured by a screw and T-nut. For the first end, align the belt with the frame. For the second end, use the remaining bell to pull it and give a little bit of tension while tightening the screw. Do the same for the second belt. For the remaining piece of belt, you can cut it, but if later on you need to pull it again to adjust the tension, it will be harder to do. An alternative is to leave the belt as is, just like that. The four small pads are used under each foot. This will prevent the laser from sliding. To install the laser module on the X axis is very simple. Just slide it on and use the knob to secure it. OK, now for the electrical connections. There's one cable coming from the electronic box. This cable has several connectors along the way. The first one is for the small end stop located on the left profile. The second one is for the Y-axis stepper motor. Then we have a small one for the X-axis end stop. The next one is for the X-axis stepper motor. And the last one is for the laser. So let's go ahead and connect them all. The small end stop first. Then the Y-axis stepper motor. the X-axis end stop, the X-axis stepper motor, and finally the laser. Now we need to secure the cable with the zip ties. And for that, move the axis all the way to the end. This will help to know where to secure the cable while making sure the axis can move all the way. For the laser cable, you can pass it through the right or through the left. Just make sure you have enough cable when adjusting the laser up and down. At the end, move all the axes all the way to check that everything moves ok and that the cables don't get caught while moving. 
All we need to do now is connect the HDMI cable to the electronic box and to the terminal. The terminal is secured by magnets to the electronic box like this. And the laser engraver assembly is now complete. This is how the engraver looks like when ready. So let's connect the power and the USB cable from the engraver to the computer. Before turning the power on, make sure the emergency button is not triggered. To release the trigger, just turn it clockwise. As for the tests, don't miss our follow-up video where we will show you all the results. That video will be published very soon, so stay tuned. And that's it you guys, thanks for watching. We hope you liked the video. We will see you guys next time. Bye!